Hey YouTube, today we're going to be continuing our series looking into legacy raiding and whether it's worth doing them for gold raids. Uh, in particular, we're doing Cataclysm, starting with Barrett and Hold, then Blackwing Descent, the Bastion of Twilight, Throne of uh, the Four Winds, Firelands, and then finishing up with Dragon Soul. So to start things off, um, I've been using Instance Gold Tracker, if you haven't seen, I've done two previous episodes in this series, one looking at Mists of Pandaria and one Warlords of Draenor. Uh, this is the data for Warlords of Draenor. You can see basically it's calculating how long it takes me to finish the run, how much gold I make in that run, and then how much gold per hour I would make in that run if I did it for a full hour. To start things off, we're doing Barad and Hold, uh, which is located in Tol Barad. If you don't know how to get there for the Horde, um, it's, it's basically where all the Cataclysm portals are. You go to them, um, and then Tolbarad's sort of sitting off on its own. I'm not exactly sure with the Alliance, but um, I think it would be pretty similar. Um, so we're just going to get started with Barret and Hold. Finished Barrett and Hold, you can see it only took 2 minutes 4 seconds to finish that and only getting 168 gold. And we're now at Blackwing Descent. For those who don't know where that is, it's um, in Burning Steps, just down here, where my cursor is. It's also the same place you go uh, for the end of the quest line with Rathian for the, the cape in BFA. I finished Blackwing Descent, but unfortunately the Instance Gold Tracker bugged. Um, but I did take note that I finished it in 7 minutes 40 and made 314 gold, which would equate to 2,460 gold per hour. Um, we're now at the Bastion of Twilight, and for those who don't know where that is, it's in Twilight Highlands, um, just where my cursor is, up in the sky, just here and get that underway now. I finished the Bastion of Twilight. The run took 5 minutes 49, getting a total gold of 342, which equates to 3528 gold per hour. We're now at Throne of the Four Winds in Oldham, just where my cursor is. I get that underway now. Just finished Throne of the Four Winds, um, did that one in 3 minutes 26, getting a total gold of 93, uh, which equates to 1627 gold per hour if you were to do that continuously. Uh, I think this one in particular was quite bad, considering it's only 93 gold, and the travel time to get to the Throne of the Four Winds, I mean you go to Aldum and then you, you fly to the, to the raid, takes quite a lot of time, so you basically wasting time where you could be earning gold. Um, so I do think that one's probably the worst performer so far. Um, but we'll see how the others do. We're now at um, Firelands, which is in Hyjal, and the raid is just where my cursor is. So let's see how this one performs.
I've just finished Firelands in 15 minutes 5 seconds, getting a total gold of 687, which equates to 2735 gold per hour. Now in the Caverns of Time, getting ready to do Dragon Soul. Um, you can take the portal from Orgrimmar if you're on the Horde, or Stormwind if um, you're on the Alliance to get here. Alright, get that underway now. Just finished Dragon Soul, that took uh, 21 minutes 59 and getting a total gold of 670, equating to 1830 gold per hour. So that concludes the Cataclysm raids. Um, it looks like um, probably Firelands was the best raid out of them, um, getting that 687 gold. Um, reasonable goal per hour 2735 if you if you factor that in the probably the second best is the bastion of twilight with um 342 gold and 3528 gold per hour um the reason why i don't think barrett and hold is very good is because you only get 168 gold per run and the time it takes to travel to barrett and hold probably uh, once you, you add that in, the goal per hour is much less, only spending two minutes actually in the instance killing mobs. It's important to keep in mind, this is just the speeds that I've done these runs in. I'm not um, a speed runner or anything like that. I'm just an average player. And yes, people could get much quicker times than I've done and get much higher goal per hour. Uh, this is just for the average person wants to know roughly how much gold they're going to get per run and how that compares to other raids in different expansions. So Cataclysm in a whole probably performed the worst so far in the series. So Mists of Pandaria as well as Warlords of Drainer I think performed better mainly because the instances were a bit longer, you got more gold within the instance. You could also reset difficulties as well so you can do um, especially in uh, Warlords of Draenor where you can reset the instance, do it on normal, heroic and mythic to maximize that gold per hour. Um, I don't really recommend doing Cataclysm unless you just enjoy Cataclysm raids like Firelands. Uh, it's quite an enjoyable raid. There's lots of um, transmog to get in there that looks pretty cool as well as a, a rare mount drop as well. Um, Dragon Soul it, it's a, it's a fun one to do, but obviously the last fight, um, unless you know it and you've done it many times, it, it can be a bit tedious, um, but but that's also another enjoyable one. Um, and yeah, the Bastion of Twilight was a, was a good one as well. Um, so that concludes uh, today's episode. I hope you've learned something, enjoyed it. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more of these types of videos, subscribe. 
Um, not sure what raid I'm going to look at next in terms of gold farming. Um, so, so far I've done Cataclysm. I've done um, Wall as a Drainer. I've done Mists of Pandaria. I was thinking about maybe trying to do Legion. I've um, done some of the raids on the harder difficulties and I found that it took um, quite a long time to finish so I'm not sure how well the gold per hour is going to go in that if I try that um, whether I need to wait until Shadowlands drops and I'm a level 60 to be able to clear the content fast enough um, and then I may may have to redo this series as well just to test things see which one's performing better um, one thing I am noticing is in the Cataclysm raids, we're getting less gold per item. So previously, um, it's obviously, you know, five gold for selling these, whereas I think in Mists of Pandaria and Wallets of Draenor, you get 50, as well as some of um, the other drops as well, are, you know, eight gold. It's, it's starting to get a lot less and... Um, that's sort of where you think diminishing returns is going to kick in with Wrath of Lich King, Burning Crusade and Classic because although you, you may be defeating things quicker, like I, I can't kill anything faster than I already am because I'm almost one-shotting everything and whether or not um, it's worth doing these raids because the, the amount of gold you can sell each item for is reducing um, the further... I go back in the expansions. Um, so I, I guess we'll just wait and see what Legion results are. Whether I can do it, I'll, I'll just have a little test run maybe, um, see how we go. Otherwise, I'll probably do Wrath of the Lich King next and, um, and see how that goes. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you next time.